Welcome back, everyone. Today, we are solving the mystery of Corinthian leather. We'll explore where it came from, who made it famous, and why it's forever a pop culture hit. So put your detective hats on, we're going in. Is there anything really Corinthian leather? Is that anything? It's, it's just... <laughs> it's just... It... Even David Letterman was curious. Corinthian leather was first introduced in the 1974 Chrysler Imperial. The material was a standard auto upholstery. It was made in Newark, New Jersey by the Raydell Leather Manufacturing Company. However, it became much, much more. It all began with an idea, a copywriter, in the year 1973. Gas shortages had hit the world. Chrysler was also in the process of releasing a new, larger body car called the Cordoba. It would be heavier and use more gas than smaller cars. They needed a way to make it appealing to buyers and decided to present it as a luxury model. It had premium options and two extra special features. The first was wildly popular actor Ricardo Montalban. He starred in hit films, TV shows, and had a smooth voice that oozed refinement and luxury exactly the tone Chrysler was going for. I know my own needs, and what I need from an automobile, I know I get from this new Cordova. The second special ingredient was a talented advertising team. They found one that featured Bozell, an agency started in 1921 in Omaha, Nebraska. By the 1970s, it had grown to have a New York City headquarters and many winning campaigns. They continued to develop commercial hits you might be familiar with, including Pork, The Other White Meat, The Got Milk, Mustache Ads, and Verizon's Can You Hear Me Now campaign. Can you? I hope so. Bozell was big and clearly clever. One of their copywriters came up with the idea of giving the regular leather in Chrysler vehicles a very special name. Corinthian leather. What better way to make it stand out than by calling it something totally new and refined? With their two special features, in 1975, Chrysler released the Cordoba, and Corinthian leather as we know it was born. The car was an instant hit, receiving more orders than cars available, and the legend only grew from there. So much that Ricardo continued as a Chrysler spokesman for nearly 15 years. The commercials would also lead to Ricardo being cast in another hit TV series, Fantasy Island. Ah, it's going to be a glorious day. A great day indeed. But wait, there was controversy. It's often debated, is it referred to as fine, soft, or rich Corinthian leather? Let's settle that now, once and for all. So did the choice of such luxuries as fine Corinthian leather. Ah, so it's fine. I request nothing beyond the thickly cushioned luxury of seats available even in soft Corinthian leather. And soft? In the Chrysler tradition of luxury, yes, even rich Corinthian leather. Well, there you have it. It's all three. Over the years, it was referred to in each way. It must be those copywriters again. You can rest easy knowing whichever you believed, you were right, and pop culture interest grew from there. A meme ahead of its time, Corinthian leather would go on to make it into mainstream culture ever since, including this year 2000 episode of The Sopranos. I love this jacket. You were my kid brother, you would have for this jacket. Silk lining, fine Corinthian leather. The 2002 Sum 41 music video for Still Waiting. Hey guys, yeah, hey, how you doing? Have a seat. Take it easy on those chairs, Corinthian leather. A 2003 Coca-Cola car. Hey, you crazy man, it's Corinthian leather. The 2011 Puss in Boots movie. These boots are made of the finest Corinthian leather. A 2012 episode of the animated TV series Archer. The interior boasts mil-spec GPS, satellite communications, hi-fi stereo, rich Corinthian leather. Corinth is famous for its leather! And even part of the Marvel Universe in the 2016 Deadpool movie. Rich Corinthian leather! So what is Corinthian leather really? What do you think of it? 
Just a great name, a popular celebrity, and a whole lot of fun. Corinthian. Oh, yeah. Seem, you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> but, but does it mean uh, anything? N- nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that. And that's how a material that never existed has become one of the most famous leathers of all time.